Hey everybody, this is Alan Fine, and I'm here with Lisa Lutoff Perlow, who is the president and CEO of Celebrity Cruises, and we're on the Hello, lovely everyone. Celebrity Apex. The lovely Celebrity Apex. And we are on Insider Travel Report. You have proven that luxury doesn't have to be small and it doesn't have to be pretentious. That's right. It just has to be comfortable, sustainable, and inclusive. That's right. Can you unpack that in the next five minutes? <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I'll try. That's a lot. Um, listen, we've always said with celebrity, uh, and it started with the Solstice class, and I think it's just accelerated with the Edge series and now Apex and Beyond coming out in April. You know, I believe you can um, provide luxury at, at scale. and. People were skeptical of that, but we've proven everyone wrong. And this ship is luxurious. Mm -hmm. um, our pricing strategy is always included, and that's what a luxury traveler wants. Our retreat experience for uh, guests who want that exclusivity is second to none. And and our crew is amazing. And all of I get to work with such some amazing people who just provide the restaurants and the culinary experience and the design and wellness and spa. All of that is extremely luxurious. So I don't know. I mean, I've tried to unpack it as best I can, but I'd need all day. Well, yeah. well, so let's let's I'll try to help with some questions. So for, first of all, you you isolated this niche. You said that there's really nothing between upscale and ultra luxury. How long ago was that? When was that the glimmer in your eye? I think that what we we started with the solstice class in terms of luxury. So you were thinking of it then? Yes. And then when we had the opportunity to build this new series of ships, I thought, how can we go even further? And we really focused on design and the retreat, which was our sweet experience, because we realized that that's where luxury was going. But we always wanted it to be comfortable because luxury is also changing. And we were very conscious of that. We did a lot of research. research right. And we knew which guests were sort of in our bullseye and our target. And then they're just getting younger. Which is getting younger, absolutely. And um, so we wanted to make sure that we were offering this luxury experience, but that we were appealing to a broad enough market. So we never intended to be luxury, ultra luxury. We don't want to be luxury ultra luxury but we're not premium either and the thing that I love about this spot and you know I've been in this business for 36 years and I started in sales and marketing so I kind of figured that if we could carve out our own niche that we could own all by ourselves that would be what could truly differentiate celebrity and that's what we try to do and uh, you, with that younger client, you, your research showed that their itineraries, they needed shorter itineraries. You want to speak to that? Yeah. So, you know, again, through our research, we found out that this sweet spot of guests, 40 to 55 years old, liked um, to cruise for shorter periods of time, usually, you know, somewhere 10 to 12 days, depending on where in the world they were going, was probably their max. So we took a look across our global deployment and said, how do we shorten these cruises one, two, and maybe three days so that we could ensure that we were appealing to the guests that we really wanted. And they could always lash a couple trips together. Absolutely, they can, and they could always extend, and so, yeah, so you know, we think we're in a good place. So you've said that um, luxury is, um, the luxury client's looking for simplicity. So how does um, Always Included address that? Well, you, I, I think that, you know, if you're spending a certain amount of money to travel, and you are used to certain things, you really want um, things to be included, and in, you want to pay once. It, it isn't even important the amount, it's just what is included. And then we did a lot of research that said, what are the things that people want the most in their inclusive pricing? And it was beverages, it was gratuities, and it was Wi-Fi. Everybody wants to be connected. And so we came up with our pricing strategy of always included that every time you buy a celebrity cruise, with very few exceptions, all of those things are included. Luxury also wants more choices and more space. And that's another reason why I'm not sure the small sh luxury ships can do what you're doing. Well, People love the outdoors, and that's why our sunset bar, our rooftop garden, our resort deck are so popular. Um, 
our our veranda space is so popular our space ratio is so popular they want more space and they want more choice and so again i think that's why celebrity is in just the sweet spot of the market because we offer so many different experiences for our guests whether you want to be exclusive or see a great show or be in the room like this and and see some more great entertainment um and th so we have the best of all worlds here. Yeah, so it's it's not like I'm on a, I'm on a luxury ship and uh, what's to do? I got nothing. Right. It, this is a little city with luxury also. And uh, we don't close down at nine nine o'clock at night. Uh, we're up for as long as you want or not. You know, it's your choice. I mean, we're really actually saying what the travel advisor should do to sell it. But do you have any advice to them? <laughs> yeah. Well, first of all, you got to sell celebrity because it really is a luxurious experience for all levels of luxury and it's the safest uh, vacation you can take on planet earth thank you for talking to me. it's my pleasure as always alan and this is alan fine for insider travel report <laughs>